All right, I'm gonna try to do this on one take. So I don't think I want to do a intro for this video. I just want to just show some numbers and no edits, no cuts, nothing. Just flat out me talking for around 10 minutes and trying to share my insight of YouTube for over a year. Um, I would say for 2023, I uploaded one video every day or not every day every at least one video a week my bad i'm not gonna cut that out i'm gonna leave that in but um here i can show i even made a playlist to i think it's this one gaming where i would track all the videos that i've made so far i've made 68 long videos long form and in terms of like uh just regular videos not like shorts or anything and yeah, these are all edited videos. I've never uploaded any. Well, I have uploaded some unedited videos. This one is going to be one of them, but all these have been edited and not just like me playing Minecraft with. Um... I don't know why I'm looking over there. Not me playing Minecraft, just. Um... What's the word? Just raw, raw, raw footage of me playing Minecraft. It's all these videos were something that I think. Would have been a good idea, but so far I'm only at um, 509 subscribers as I'm making this. And um, my most popular video so far has been 37,000. It's not bad, but it wasn't even a video that was about me. Um, let's see. Yeah, it was, it was a politics video on Candace Owens. Um... So, yeah, I mean, I guess I can show some more stats. Let's see. So, so far, I've accumulated uh, 149,601 views. Um, I think it's more because I did take down all of my, all of my live streams. Because at some point, I was at like 400 something videos. So, let's see. Let's go to analytics here. Um, lifetime. Yeah, 166,919. Um, oh, I guess that shows my watch time. Yeah, my watch time is... Well, it's loading, but it's at 3.5k. So, I'm almost at 4k, which is what you need to monetize, I believe. Yeah. I'm almost there. I'm halfway. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. So... Yeah, I think that's everything as far as like showing stats. Um, I don't really want to go through each and every video to prove that I've uploaded every, every, every week for one whole year. But um, I do want to show though my first upload when I started doing YouTube again was which, okay. I can't find it. I don't know. I could just go here. I don't know why I'm going through my through my old videos. Yeah, it's this one. I'm actually kind of curious to see how I sound. Oh yeah, I used to have an intro. That's crazy. Let's see. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We will be Damn, I used to sound different. So yeah, that was one of the reasons why I started making videos was because I believe I had like a problem with um, public speaking and I think it really has helped me. Um, depending on what your goal is on YouTube, it, I don't know. It's, let's see. All right. So I already lied and didn't I said already in the beginning that I was not going to cut this part or not cut any of the video, but, um, I kind of ran out of things to say, uh, at the moment, but pretty much, I think I showed, um, all the real numbers. This is, um, yeah, I mean, this is about a little bit over a year of YouTube. Yeah, here, you could even see it in the graph. Um, January 2nd, 2023. Yeah, I know. This was my first view. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? It was, uh, December 28th, 2022. Oh, no, that was from something else. Never mind. I don't know. Um... But yeah, I think that's pretty much showed all the numbers. So I think 
I'll continue the video here by sharing some advice that I believe would help a lot of people who want to start YouTube because I'm guessing if you clicked on this video, you want to start on YouTube. The biggest thing with, I mean, anything in life is consistency. Um, assuming that's why you're doing YouTube, I feel like, is because you want to meet a certain goal. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. Like I shared in the beginning, I strictly started this YouTube channel just for... God damn it, there's like my dog. strictly for just improving my speech and pretty much it, i believe it has helped me to some extent gain some confidence increase my self-esteem and make me speak uh, more coherently so i mean i still do ums and stuff but i don't know i would say i'm better off way better just than what i was before and how i would speak and stuff i would stutter and i don't think i really stutter that much anymore but um I probably do, <laughs> but so I would say, yeah, like consistency is the most important thing. And honestly, oh, what? Oh, it's because I was in Discord. Um, Honestly, I feel like a lot of people underestimate how much work it takes to make a successful channel, because I mean, in all things in life, whatever, whatever you try in life, you always want to be successful. You always want to be the best i feel like that's just human nature to strive for the best and i think currently on youtube i'm just trying to improve on my gaming videos which of course for those who actually do watch my channel uh it's league of legends currently um yeah i'm just trying to improve video by video i wanted to make this video because i think um this may help some people and i think this is really realistic because this is coming from someone that has never paid any money for promotions all right so this is the following morning of when i started recording um i know i said i wasn't gonna do any cuts but i think it's i think it's too late for that already but yeah, so one of the things that I would like to add on top of consistency on YouTube is, at least for a word of advice, is... So a lot of gurus say that you should upload in a specific niche, and I believe that to be true, although I cannot prove it because I haven't had several years of experience on YouTube, and I'm only at 500 subscribers, of course. Um, my credibility isn't going to be anything that is absolute, right? But I think that is true because, I mean, I feel like when you subscribe to someone, um, it's because you like the things that they're doing. And a lot of the times I feel like on YouTube, let's say um, I subscribe to someone to do, who does vlogs. Like, for example, yeah, I guess like, let's look up like face rug. He used to be a gamer, but he only does really vlogs now. And I feel like if he started uploading gaming videos, I wouldn't say that. Maybe he would get less views, maybe not. I mean, he does have a really loyal fan base. I actually, he's one of the first people that I subscribe to. Uh, I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, no, it's all vlog videos nowadays, but pretty much just sticking to your specific niche, I think is a true word of advice, even though a lot of YouTube gurus um, overuse it. I think it is true though. Another thing is <clears throat> a good idea for your videos. Um, I struggle with this and it's just always good to be unique and do something that's different because I feel like that's what helps you on YouTube is to stand out. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it, honestly, for advice. The, the thing is, YouTube is just about consistency and just staying in your niche i think and you will eventually grow i mean there's not really a lot to say the one thing i will say is though your first video is always going to suck and that's just any that's just 
anything in life um when you first start off you're not going to be the best and you shouldn't be a perfectionist when it comes to youtube because your videos will suck i mean i i think my first videos were unedited fortnite videos it was like probably like six seven years ago but i i unlisted them because they were they were just bad but um <clears throat> i mean yeah honestly um i think it takes takes time to grow youtube if that's your goal i mean some people just want to upload just to like track their life like i know some content creators or youtubers as you would call them um i can't think of a name i was gonna look them up but some people just just record their life and they don't really care about money or getting popular they just want to get like a small a small community and just they just want to keep uh sharing their life but i don't know depending on your goal what it is on youtube like i said my current goal on youtube i think is to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year will i get it um i believe so um the one thing i do know is that youtube is not linear in the terms of growth because i feel like once you figure out what's doing really good on youtube your growth will be exponential so um but um i think that's everything honestly um <clears throat> but yeah good luck to everyone if you actually do start a channel and don't give up this thing does take time to grow and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching